Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14.5 the latest release by Apple. iOS 14.5 has been released on its first beta, bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS 14, some of them very, very important and very useful as well. So in this video, we're going to take a look at more than 30 new features and changes that you will be able to find on iOS 14.5. All right, starting off with the biggest feature of iOS 14.5. If you own an Apple Watch, and you have an iPhone with Face ID, now you will be able to unlock your iPhone using Face ID even though you might have a mask on your face. And that of course using the Apple Watch as well. So this is a new feature that you will find on Face ID and passcode section on the settings app. It's called Apple Watch here, you will have to enable it here. And then if you're wearing your Apple Watch, you will be able to actually unlock your device with Face ID even though you have a mask on. Now it requires you to have your Apple Watch on your hand and also have a passcode enabled on your Apple Watch in order for that to work. The process is very simple, the unlocking is really really fast, but if it goes slower then you will see this pop up on the screen right there, it will say unlocking with Apple Watch, this is from Reddit, iOS beta on Reddit, and of course this is what you will see while unlocking your device with Apple Watch. Otherwise, it should be really fast. Most of the times you won't see this pop up at all. It will just straight up unlock your device and go into the home screen. And if you're using your iPhone to unlock your Apple Watch, you will see this pop up on iOS 14.5. This notification that you get for your ringer maybe or your AirPods or any other device connected to your iPhone. Now you will get it once you have unlocked a watch using your iPhone. So that's really cool. It will show you the name of your watch. And of course it says there unlocked so that you know you have unlocked your watch using your iPhone. On iOS 14.5, when you go to your software update and you have your device updated to the latest version, then it will show you a new screen right here. You can see that green check mark right there. It shows the iOS you're currently on. And of course, it tells you that your device has been updated to the latest software. Now, what's really cool is that it also shows you right here the last time it has checked for an update. Now, this feature can be found also on the watch app. So if you go to your Apple Watch, app and go to the software update you will be able to see the exact same screen on the watch app there are a few new updates with siri as well with siri on ios 14.5 you can make emergency calls and it also has a redesigned emergency call screen so let's just go ahead and launch siri and try it out call emergency And you can see the screen right here shows the countdown, a call button, and also a cancel button if you don't want to do it. So a call button to right away go ahead and call without having to wait for the countdown, which is really useful. Now, if you go to settings and you have type to Siri enabled, you will notice that there is a new interface for typing to Siri. So if we just go ahead and launch Siri here, you can see a pretty cool new interface. There is also a new interface for Siri, redesigned interface when you want to send messages through, through Siri. So let's just try it out. Okay, let's just disable this send a message to test what do you want to say? and you can see the new interface right there at the top it looks really cool and of course way way better than the old one another change i've noticed is with the weather widget now this is really interesting it shows a totally different widget on the weather if you're basically having here a location where there's a rainstorm or snowstorm or something like that you can see i have new york here and it shows a totally different widget than it used to show before i don't know if this is happening for everyone or if this is from ios 14.4 and on but on ios 14.5 this is the first time that i've seen something like this so it shows you the next hour here and of course everything you need to know and you will notice here if i just go ahead and edit the widget and go to another location it will be totally different so if i go to london right here you can see it still shows 
the old style widget and of course it shows the weather forecast the hourly forecast right there go back to a place where there's like a storm or something like that like new york for example and you can see it shows a totally different interface there it has switched to the old one right now but let's try out here let's try another location and you can see how it shows a different widget each time based basically on the weather conditions on that city really interesting let me know about this if you have seen this before or this is the first time for this appearing on ios 14.5 on the imessage app the send button is faded out when you have nothing typed on the message you can see once i type something it will bring back the message send button really really cool and of course a very nice touch here on ios 14.5 a new feature also on the reminders app if you go to your reminders and you go to one of your lists if you tap right here now you will have the chance to sort your reminders you can see if you tap on the three dots tap on sort you will have the option to manually sort them sort them through due date creation date priority or title so you will have a bunch of different options here to now sort your reminders which is of course really cool there are also some changes here on the news app so if you go to the news right here we'll see now we have a dedicated search section for news you can search anything here now with a dedicated button if you go here on on news plus you will see a new section for you and you will see way more sections right here which of course you can go ahead and browse from the top which is a very nice touch on ios 14.5 on the music app on ios 14.5 if you're searching for an album or song something like that you can see right here at the bottom now it will show you more details regarding that album and in this case it shows you the date when this album has been released which is a very nice touch also on your library when you want to play a song you will notice that the play next and play last buttons have been redesigned there are quite a lot of new changes on the podcast app as well. If you go to the search section, you will see now you can browse by categories. Just like on Apple Music, now you can do the same here with podcasts. If you go to library, you can see new icons right there at the top. And you have here saved. And you will find here all your different saved podcasts. Now, if you go to one of the podcasts, you can see this has been redesigned here. And you have now a big resume button right there big change here on this interface from ios 14.4 to, to the new ios 14.5 without changes on the watch app as well right here face gallery and now we have app store so face gallery the icon has been redesigned and this has been renamed from discover to app store you go there all it does it just takes you to the app store to the apple watch app section it doesn't do anything more but now you will have that bar right there redesigned a ui redesign has happened on the maps app as well if you go to maps and you go to guides now you will see here a redesign on the ui which looks in my opinion way better than the old one with ios 14.5 apple is also officially bringing the new anti-tracking feature on ios this has happened to me on ios 14.4 actually and a lot of people have seen this pop up on ios 14.4 but now is officially here with ios 14.5 and apps will be forced to actually ask you whether they can track you or not and of course once you go to your settings and you go under privacy you will have here the tracking section allow apps to request to track and you will have a list of all the apps that have required to track you and of course you will have these buttons right here from where you can also enable or disable that feature and if we go back here and we go to safari we have also a very interesting feature here we have a feature called privacy preserving ad measurement this is new with ios 14.5 and you will have a button right there to enable or disable it i'm not really sure what this actually does we have to take a look in that and or see what apple says about this new feature but it's new here under the safari section on the settings app ios 14.5 also brings dual sim 5g support now officially ios 14.5 you can have 5g on the dual sim it also brings support 
for the X series controllers and it also brings support for the PS5 DualSense controllers. A lot of people have been asking for that support. Now it's finally here with iOS 14.5, but unfortunately you will have to wait for a few more days or weeks maybe of course if you want to have that officially on your device because this now is just beta one there are also some minor changes on the ipad so let's just quickly move to the ipad here now the biggest change with ios 14.5 on the ipad is that now you will have the option to search for emojis on ipad i really didn't notice that the ipad doesn't have a search bar for emojis and it wasn't here until ios 14.5 fortunately now it's here and you can go ahead and search for emojis on ipad os 14.5 14.5 also brings the horizontal boot screen for ipad so that's just like a minor touch it's nothing that useful but if you have an ipad right here on the horizontal it will basically show the boot logo on horizontal mode as well so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are more than 30 new features and changes that you will be able to find on ios 14.5 now of course this is just beta 1 probably a lot more new features will be added with the new betas of ios 14.5 until it gets released to the public which should be probably early april or somewhere in late march so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one